What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another DIY Tesla Power update video. Now today it's a bit of a different video. Today I'll be showing you guys the connectors on the solar panels. So as you may have seen in the last video, I mentioned that I would be doing a how to change the connectors on the solar panel. This is pretty much that video. As you can see, I've got some weird connectors. Basically, um, when I bought these, these connectors, they got stuck. They wanted to obviously get the panels up as fast as they could. So they just cut the connector and now it's left the panel that was right next to it, Nectarless, which is good for me because I get these panels a lot cheaper than what they would be if they had the connectors on them. So I've got the connect. These are the connectors here, the MC4 connectors. So these, one's male, one's female. And then we got the parts that actually go on the end of the um, wire. I'm going to crimp and solder those on so they don't break. So there's two different versions. There's that one and then there's the other end. So you got to make sure you get those on the right lead. One's negative and one's positive. And so that's that. Those will be obviously going onto here, and then that's the negative end, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty much going to snip them off right from the end on both connectors, so I have the maximum amount of cable. And I'm going to obviously strip the ends of this, crimp it on, solder it, and hopefully get a reading from it. Hopefully it also like stays intact and doesn't break over time. But, but uh, yeah, so pretty much, first I'm just going to just cut the zip tie, because we're not going to need that anymore. So just remove that. Um, and basically, you just want to obviously straighten out the cable and cut it right from the end. You want as much cable as you can. You don't want to waste any in case you like strip it and you mess it up and you have to cut more off. So pretty much these connectors are going straight in the bin. So that's one. Also, watch for negative and positive. It's negative and positive there. I just um, realized that. So make sure that's there. If not, uh, you could leave some sticky tape on the connector or on the, the wire where the connector comes from. Uh, you can also test it with your multimeter. Um, but there we go, those two connectors. And pretty much straight in the bin. So anyway, now what you wanna do is you wanna strip the ends of this. Um, these are somewhat double insulated. If I can get this to focus. These are somewhat double insulated. Uh, so you, you gotta obviously um, get through the black uh, coating and then the, there's like a white coating around the wire. Um, so um, you can use wire strippers or anything like that. I'm going to use those same pretty much pliers to get it off. So you pretty much just work your way around and then it should pretty much just slide off. So I'm going to do that uh, now. I'm going to set the camera down and uh, yeah. So I'm back and I off camera have stripped both of the connectors now. Um, put this over as well. Basically now pretty much want to uh, tin both the ends of the, the wire. And then I'm going to trim this down and pretty much put it straight into the right connector. And uh, yeah. Okay, now, so with your solder, you're going to want to tin the end. Try and tin the end of this. You can see the solder's flowing on. I might be able to zoom in a bit. Um, but the solder is flowing on. Um, you just keep applying a bit more, heating the cable up further, and just going along like that. You can see it um, doesn't fully have coverage, but we're pretty much going to cut that off anyway. Um, so we'll do that now. So, pretty much where it hasn't got coverage, this is probably the length you want. Let's just cut that. And there we go, that's the cable there. Um, I'm gonna do the same on the other, and then I will show you guys how to put the connector on the end of this open piece of wire. Okay, so now I've soldered and trimmed both ends now. So now the connectors are gonna go straight on. As um, I've already said, this one onto the positive, and then the bullet looking one will go onto the negative, and I can't find it right now, but um, I'm gonna do that. So the camera's gonna go down, and yeah. Okay, so now it's time to put the connector mm -hmm. on. So um, this one's going to go into the positive. Multiple ways you could do this. You could just crimp this on and leave it um, like that, but I don't really like crimp connections. So I'm going to crimp and solder. So the first thing I'm going to do is tin the connector up a little bit, get a bit of solder on that so that we can solder it to this a little bit easier. So I'm going to do that off camera. Um, that's going to be a bit hard to demonstrate on camera, so I'm going to do that now and I'll be back. So the connector is now tinned up. You can see there's a bit of solder in there. So now the easy process pretty much is just soldering it straight on. So when doing this, I recommend you use pliers to hold the connector itself. There's that. Um, you may have not seen it, but it's soldered on. I have to do it off camera. It's a bit hard. It's nicely flowed on. It looks like one continuous piece of metal. Um, there's a bit there with the wire, but that's fine. Um, you don't want to push it in too much because it will intrude into the, into the connector. But now, pretty much, it, you get this connector. Um, you probably want this to cool off a bit as well so you don't melt inside the connector. You've got to thread it through. 
just slide that over just like that it's a bit tricky the rubber is quite new in here so there's also another little rubber independent seal here so just push that in you should hear a click I don't know if you heard that but that's in now part over like so pretty much just uh, tighten it down nice and tight so the seal gets a good uh, seal I guess over cable nice and tight like that and that is pretty much the positive end installed it looks nice um it's not coming out at all so that's uh, obviously good i'm going to do the next one um, off camera and then i'll show you the final product so that's pretty much it in terms of installing seals um, they fit together nicely further tighten these screws up connect like that and uh yeah so these are the connectors done but that's pretty much it this was a very dumbed down basic tutorial but for all the new solar guys getting into building solar panels and getting them used and cheap this is you know a good way of doing it so that's pretty much it uh hopefully guys did enjoy this video please give a like and subscribe for more videos like this and uh thank you very much for watching